This is an ammeter kit. I have no idea what it does. That is what full scale is, what resolution is. It's an EQ kit. Now the reason I ordered this was because that's the same company that makes the 30 volt 1 amp power supply. Sold on eBay as being a Highland uh, product. And it looks like a Highland product, but the only marking on it on the circuit board is EQ kit. Made all of uh, twelve dollars and seventy cents, I guess, because it was two dollars and seventy cents shipping. And I don't know if I bought from him before or not. And here's something for Comp Studio. I think it's an eBay package. Oh, I remember what this is. I bought this meter a few years ago. And it's probably $20. It's not a bad meter. That's not what this is about. When I unearthed it a week ago, I took it apart in order to see what fuses were in it. And I bought some spares. The $20 meter actually has uh, HRC fuses. 10 amp at uh, 380 volts AC. This is for, better get them out. Anyway, I've got red and black ones. They're little gold plated cotter pins, for lack of a better word, that are held together with a colored bead. In my case, red and black. The intention is you could put the split end into a circuit board hole and solder it. I wanted to measure the some potential resistance, whatever, on the board. You could just go through like this with your probe through the hole and make pretty good contact with it. Here's the seller's page, eBay for those little tiny gold wire with a plastic bead so there's actually 50 of them here and uh, say three dollars American 17 cents shipping from this guy. I believe this package is a set of filter kits. It's from Turkey. I don't recognize this name. I would have thought that this came from QRP Labs. Yes, QRP Labs. And it's a set of uh, High and or low pass filters, all sort of centered at getting a square wave turned into a 10 megahertz sine wave. A little bit squashed. I mean, it's not bad. I believe Turkey was involved in this coronavirus thing.
Okay, well, I guess I'm stand to be corrected. This may be some sort of a power amplifier kit. Alright, I believe this heat sink goes to this power amplifier kit. Here's a dummy load kit. I was probably drinking beer. I remember these, they're the low pass and band pass filter. Now these are marked 30 meters, but I believe they can be tweaked to work at 10 meter, um, to work at 10 megahertz. I don't know why I wanted a dummy load kit. I have a number of dummy loads and a power amplifier kit. And they are from QRP dash labs. Now, I built a couple of kits. One a frequency standard, one a time standard. And the time standard is just a digital clock, but it's GPS uh, stabilized. The signal generator, uh-oh, The signal generator puts out, I've got it set at 10 megahertz, puts out a 10 megahertz uh, 3 volt pulse, a square wave. And I would like to make that into a sine wave, or at least have the option of getting rid of some of the harmonics. So I don't have any pricing available right now on these. Featherweight eBay package. This is two uh, two pieces of two N fifty one O nine RF transistors. Two for five dollars. The reason I wanted these, I unearthed this kit, well, this circuit board from, uh, I think it's SV or SU1AFN. Anyway, it's a uh, 2N5109 power amp fire kit. And I bought this board, I don't, God knows, 10 years ago, or without any components. I did order a complete populated board from uh, this guy. He said that mail service in his country was going to delay delivery, which is fine with me. I, I can probably scrape up enough parts to assemble this board. This is another kit. It was shipped from Greece by an amateur radio operator with the call sign SV1AFN. So Athens, Greece. I ordered this on eBay 
and um, eBay promised quick delivery. As soon as I placed the order, I got an email from this gentleman who said that Greece was in the midst of the coronavirus and that delivery was going to be delayed. And he offered to uh, accept a cancellation of my eBay order. I told him just when he gets around to it, because I guess they closed the post office or restricted access. Now this is an RF amplifier kit. Okay. It's sold as this. Cost, uh, what's that? $30. Plus twelve fifty shipping, and uh, this must be well. This is the seller, and I believe this equates to the fellow that holds this amateur radio call sign license. Now, years ago, I had purchased. A bare board from him. And just recently I ordered two of these transistors from China, probably, with the intention of building this up. I may still do that, but I thought. I might as well just get the kit So he's changed the silk screening. The dimensions appear to be the same. In fact, the board appears to be identical. This one's got to be 10 years old. And he's got a complete uh, parts kit. There's a toroid in there. Power jack, a couple of SMA connectors, and the transistor itself, I don't recognize the name on it. So I'll be doing an assembly of this pretty soon. <laughs> 